Fun fact! Did you know the two original fabrics used in handbags by the House of Chanel were originally lambskin and cotton jersey? Today, lambskin is still being used. In this video, we'll be talking about the differences between caviar and lambskin. If you want to know what they are and which would be the best for you, to buy, then please stick around to the end of this video because I also have a tip for which is better for certain types of occasions. Hey! Caviar. Caviar has an interesting appearance to it. It has these little pebbled bumps to it, which I hope you can see here in this video. Caviar has this slightly grain texture, which comes from leather being embossed. And what it means for leather to be embossed means that they take a normal piece of leather hide and then they stamp it with a texture, which causes it to take on this caviar, so-called texture, which makes it bumpier. As a result, it makes it harder to scrape scratch compared to a smooth leather that is not embossed. And leather is sometimes embossed with heat. And in Chanel especially, there comes to be two kinds of embossed caviar leathers. There's shiny and matte caviar. And in this case, this one is shiny because you can see how it has a reflective appearance and it reflects light quite easily. In addition, the matte caviar is a little smoother and doesn't have as plasticky or shiny of an appearance. Another fun fact is that caviar used to be cheaper than lambskin because lambskin was seen as the more luxurious. Lambskin is still seen as more luxurious than caviar because smooth texture is just unbeatable and it feels, a lot of people always say butter, but it is kind of more like a very soft, let's say leather couch cushion. With lambskin, it is also smoother as well and it doesn't feel as plasticky. But with caviar, there are some bags that Chanel produces that are only available in this caviar leather which includes bags like the cocoa handle and the classic flap. But the classic flap may only come in caviar in certain colors and collections. That doesn't mean that all classic flaps come in caviar. It means only certain colors and from certain seasons it does only come in caviar. Like for example, this bag which was from 21A only comes in caviar in this color and this specific hardware combination. Though if you were to go to 21B, I'm sure they have lambskin, but the lambskin plastic flap they have is in silver hardware and the color is just one point darker on the color wheel. Chanel is really silly in that they say they never come out with the same color and they technically don't, but sometimes the colors are so similar you just can't even tell them apart sometimes unless they're literally right next to each other. It's silly. Bags that are without the caviar that you cannot find in caviar in case you did want that style include the Trendy CC, which I have here and some of the Chanel mini flaps that are produced today because at a certain point Chanel stopped producing mini flaps in caviar leather which means that if you were to buy a mini flap today from Chanel either in the square or mini rectangle you'd have to most likely buy it in lambskin. So what are the pros of caviar you ask? Some of the pros to caviar include that it is generally better for wear and tear every day and scratching and it is also very durable and carefree like look at this thing I'm scratching it you see anything I could scratch like this and it won't do anything at least not for a while because it is still leather it'll still break down if you keep scratching it so it's important that you don't abuse your bag just enjoy it but don't freak out if it bumps into a shelf or something and caviar is also really amazing in that because of this texture imperfections and dents or any kind of flaw in texture is harder to see and I can show you that here whenever I close my bag it doesn't always land perfectly on this button closure it sometimes lands in the leather space at the top between here and here and you cannot really see it but it's actually created a little bit of a dent that I can feel but it's a little bit harder to see because of the texture of the caviar concealing it whereas if it was lambskin I have seen photos of that dent being much more prominent and so caviar hides that much better in addition to that 
Caviar is a very popular bag. So if you were to resell this bag, which is in caviar, it would have a better resale value than a lambskin bag potentially because it's so popular and it's so durable. So the person who buys it knows it's durable, which they'll actually value that out of the bag that you're selling. So it has a better potential to sell for more, but that's not always the case because in some more rare and highly sought after bags that may be in lambskin, that rule may not apply because some bags are only in lambskin or they are a collector's piece. On the flip side, what are the cons of caviar, you ask? Caviar does not age as beautifully as vintage lambskin, though I wonder if that just may be because there isn't that much vintage caviar out there, which is another con I wanted to bring up is that if you're looking for caviar in a vintage Chanel handbag, then you're gonna have a hard time finding that because <sighs> Sorry, but unfortunately most Chanel leathers for vintage styles are lambskin because that was the more popular style back then and back then it was looked as more valued than caviar. If you're looking for a trendy CC, it does not come in caviar. But if you're looking for something with a top handle, then you can go for the cocoa handle because that comes in caviar. But the trendy CC, in my opinion, I like it more than cocoa handle. But if I wanted it in caviar, it doesn't come in caviar. Another con with caviar is that it does not come in all seasonal bags. Some seasonal bags come only in lambskin and some seasonal bags come only in caviar. Not to mention that caviar also does not absorb color in the dyeing process sometimes as well as lambskin because if you were to put caviar next to a lambskin bag, the color does look slightly different for the same color from that same collection that season. Like this bag also had a mini rectangle style plastic flap with a top handle. If you compare that bag next to this one. The color does look slightly different. Of course the texture is different too, but I believe one of them is darker than the other or one of them has like just a different kind of depth of color to them because of the texture of the leather that has been treated differently and is different inherently between lambskin and caviar. Not to mention another con is that you're able to fit more in a lambskin bag than you are in a caviar bag because lambskin over time will soften and stretch because it is much more of a supple, stretchy leather that is a little bit more elastic than caviar because caviar has been treated more than lambskin. Lambskin. The appearance of lambskin leather is a very smooth, supple leather. And in the case of the Trendy CC, it's actually more puffy than my caviar classic flap. Though that just may be a difference between either years of production or styles of bags, because they are different styles. But lambskin, not unlike caviar, also comes in shiny lambskin and also matte lambskin. I originally, before I got this one, I had a Trendy CC that was from 2017-ish that had lambskin as well because all trendy CCs come in lambskin. That was in a less shiny lambskin leather, which was matte. It was not as reflective as you see as this one on camera. You can see the light, the white light bouncing off the puffy quilts on this one. Because of that, some lamb is more scratchable than other lamb. People automatically assume that just because it's lambskin, all lambskin is delicate and scratchable. And I want to say that it's not the case because the lambskin trendy CC that I had previously, which was a little bit older, it had matte lambskin and that was not scratchable really at all. It was almost, I don't want to say like caviar, but it was kind of like a texture of leather that was probably between caviar and lambskin where if you tried to scratch it with your fingernail, it would not scratch, but I'm sure it was probably a little bit more delicate than actual caviar. But that lambskin does not scratch if you scratch it with your finger. I scratched it a few times, didn't work. Whereas I tried the scratch test on my own on this bag and it actually did scratch slightly, so I just buffed it out. And the nice thing about lambskin is that even with the delicate, shiny lambskin, it'll still be able to be buffed out because the matte lambskin is not able to be buffed out. Because the matte lambskin does not need to be buffed out. The quality of the lambskin, whether or not it's scratchable, shiny, or matte, also varies by the season and the collection that it comes from. Chanel has different leathers every season and collection 
you shouldn't expect it all to be the same. And lambskin used to be the most luxurious leather that was offered by Chanel, and it's actually favored more by the French and Europeans for its luxurious, soft suppleness or its butteriness, as everyone I've heard talk about lambskin refers to. And there are certain bags that are only available in lambskin, such as the Trendy CC, which I have here, the classic flap, mini flaps, and vintage Chanel bag. What I mean by classic flap is that only certain colors come in lambskin from certain collections because there was a version of this bag in 21B which was in this color, well slightly different color because it was 21B, but it was similar enough to this and it only came in lamb with silver hardware. And the mini flaps as I mentioned before and the vintage bags as well only come in lamb for the most part. There are a few caviar versions but they are very rare to get your hands on and if you are able to, you have to be prepared to pay a significant amount more for them because they are rare and they're more desired sometimes if you're looking specifically for them. There are also certain bags that you just cannot find in lambskin, such as the Coco Handle, which I mentioned before, which only comes in caviar, and some seasonal bags, which also come in caviar. It's like Chanel made it so that if you were looking for a bag with a top handle that was in lamb, you could find it in only the trendy, and if you were looking for a top handle in caviar, you could find it only in the Coco Handle, unless you wanted a different seasonal bag. And the Coco Handle and Trendy CC seem to come back almost every other season in alternations of each other. So one season you may have Coco Handle, the one after that you have Trendy, and then you just flip flop. What are some pros, you may ask, to lambskin leather? Well, the really nice pro of a smooth, unprocessed texture of leather like this is that it has the possibility of developing a patina, which creates a glossier finish to the leather that can only occur over time, much like Louis Vuitton Vachetta. You can see that patina in vintage Chanel lambskin bags. It takes on this beautiful, glossy appearance. And it's most common to find patina in lambskin of vintage bags. Like for example, the Diana bag or the vintage classic flap. Vintage lambskin, when it has patina, also has a lot of character to it. And so-called vintage lambskin is more durable than some modern contemporary lambskin. Though I don't necessarily think that is the case because the trendy CC that I had before this that was matte lambskin, I would say was equal probably to vintage lambskin. It is also available in a wide variety of seasonal styles as well if you're looking for lambskin specifically. There are people out there who are diehard fans of lambskin and I don't blame them. I love lambskin as well. If I had a preference between choosing either lambskin or caviar, I would probably pick lambskin. It is also beautiful in the dyeing process because it takes on color much better, much more vibrant, and it is also the primary leather for mini flaps if you're a fan of those, which a lot of people are because they're now at a lower price point than classic flaps and the mini bag trend has taken them off the ground. Another plus with lambskin is that it will loosen and stretch slightly so over time you may find your bag being able to hold more than caviar bag would in the same style. So what are some cons? lambskin. Lambskin, unfortunately, because some lambskin is more scratchable than others, it may make it less ideal for everyday wear and tear because of the possibility of developing scratches. So if you get a lighter colored lambskin rather than like a darker colored lambskin, the white faint scratches that show up may be less visible like this. If I were to scratch it because of how shiny and reflective it is, a little white scratch, because scratches are faint and white colored, especially those with your fingernail, would be harder to to see on this light colored bag or a white lambskin bag than if it were to be on a dark colored lambskin bag or black lambskin bag, which is very common in vintage styles. And a lot of vintage lambskin bags are also becoming more and more repainted as time goes on, so it may be harder to procure an unpainted vintage lambskin bag if you're looking for a lambskin bag that is vintage in a specific style. And unfortunately with lambskin, because it's such a soft, malleable, supple leather, it also has the ability to acquire dents more easily and flaws in texture are easier to see, such as that which I explained with my classic flap. Unfortunately, I wish it wasn't the case, but lambskin is less popular because people value durability, at least in the US. Because of that loss in popularity, you may have a harder time finding buyers to buy your bag when you're reselling it. The resale value may be reduced, possibly. Which should you buy? 
Now there are some factors to consider, such as durability, frequency of use, and the type of bag, and whether it's vintage or new, resale value, as well as your own opinion on aesthetics, aka looks. Durability. A question to ask yourself is, do you mind scratches? Do you prefer durability over all else? Because with lambskin, you will get scratches unless it is matte lambskin, which you'll have a harder time getting scratches, but you may still eventually get scratches and corner wear more easily than caviar. Do you mind babying it? Because a lot of people with lambskin, no matter if it's shiny or matte, they will baby it because it is generally considered to be a softer, more delicate leather than caviar. But if you abuse caviar, eventually it will get destroyed because there are caviar bags that also get destroyed. It's not impossible for someone to destroy a caviar bag. And generally people baby lambskin to keep scratches off of it and keep it looking new longer because we spend thousands on these bags. It should be right that we take care of them. And most people baby lambskin and some don't, but most people don't baby caviar. So you need to ask yourself what you want to do with the bag. Frequency of use is another category. Question you should ask yourself is how often do you plan on using it? If you're using it every day, most likely caviar will wear less if you don't baby your bag, but just don't get reckless with it because caviar pebbles, that's what they call it, can scrape off. Caviar corners are still the weakest area on your bag, even though it's a very sturdy armor. Even the best armor has a weak point. Sidebar, I actually feel like Chanel overhypes caviar a bit and probably used it as a marketing ploy to name it caviar when it's just pebbled leather because Yves Saint Laurent has the same thing and they just call it Grand de Poutre, which which means powdered grain leather, which is aka pebbled leather. But I think they renamed it caviar leather to give it a little bit more flair and make it more marketable to people who were more interested in lambskin back then than they were caviar because caviar was seen as less desirable. Because caviar sounds fancier, it sounds like, ooh, baby fish eggs or baby shark eggs. Delicious, but seriously, caviar sounds better because it's a fine culinary ingredient. Back to the topic. With special events, if you're taking out your bag for special events, Caviar and lambskin both work, but caviar should be more than adequate for durability. So should lambskin if it's getting proper care because there's less of a chance of it getting scratches. As well as that, you should be considering what type of bag you want your bag to be when you're deciding whether it's lambskin or caviar because you should question if you want it to be a big bag or a small bag. With a big bag, caviar may be better for structural integrity because it's more of a stiffer, plasticky leather. But with lambskin, it's much more soft and may even become slouchy over time. But with a small bag, both of them will hold up fine equally. Caviar will maybe hold up its shape a little bit better because of its rigidity. Though, if you're worried at all, with a big bag. You can buy a bag organizer to add structure, so this isn't really much of an issue. Another factor to consider is whether it's vintage or new, because vintage bags will have more lambskin choices and caviar is more rare. Especially with the Diana bag, you cannot really find that in caviar. It's mostly lambskin or nothing. Vintage lambskin is also said to be more resistant to scratches, so it may be a better competitor for caviar if you're worried about scratchability because vintage lambskin doesn't scratch as easily, at least from what I've heard. New lambskin though can be resistant to scratches. It just really depends on the season and the year that you get it. And this one was from this year. The other one was from like a few years ago. Resale value is also something very important because based on the resale market, lambskin can be less popular due to them being less likely to have scratches and be scratched sometimes. But you also have to ask, does the possibility of having less people potentially buy your item, somewhat more of a loss in resale value, deter you from buying lambskin? Just some thoughts. And above all else, you should really think about listening to your heart more than your brain sometimes because let's face it, at the end of the day, even if you like the practice practicality and durability of caviar more than you do lambskin. If you love the look of lambskin more than caviar and you're going to beat yourself up and kind of regret not getting lambskin, then it's not going to be worth it because ultimately we all accept the downfalls of lambskin sometimes and we buy it because it is beautiful. That's why the option of lambskin still exists because there's still many staunch people out there, cough cough, who buy lambskin because it's beautiful. You gotta ask yourself, do you like the look more? And in my opinion, with the classic club style, black lambskin looks way better than black caviar. Do you really mind the plasticky look 
and feel of caviar. If not, then good for you. But to me, sometimes caviar just looks like fake leather. Ultimately, it is up to the touch and feel of the bag that makes a difference to you. If you have a boutique or a Chanel store with an department store nearby you, you can actually go into there and hold and try on these bags in person. That would be the best option for you, not to mention all the fun Chanel facts you can learn from the sales associates. Thanks for watching until the end. If you love this video, then leave a like. Likes are free. And if you want to see more couture, style, and analysis videos, aka CSA, then please go down and subscribe and turn on the bell to get your weekly notifications of a weekly CSA PSA out of the press weekly. Leave me down in the comments down below. Did this video help you understand the difference between lambskin and caviar? I'll see you in my next one. Bye!